Jonathan Lee Riches Investigates. Ooh, there she goes. A friend of Jack Showalter speaks. A friend of Jack Showalter comes out and speaks, and I have her words, and I want to share what she had to say. She says some interesting things. But first, four college students brutally stabbed. Moscow, Idaho. Inside a home during the early morning hours of November 13th, 2022, police have made no arrests. They haven't publicly identified no suspects. Everyone is talking about Jack Showalter. Jack Showalter. So a friend came out and we'll see what she has to say and then we'll discuss. Check it out. This is a public Facebook post made by Ali Dutra, who claims to be a friend of Jack Showalter. She says, I'm a friend of his and it's ruining his life and now is affecting his family and friends as well. The trolls have gotten out of hand, saying that he's on the run off to Africa, digging up his past, any information about him that they can get, terrorizing his parents, professions and reputation, etc. It all needs to stop. He's a real person that everyone has painted out to be a murderer all because of a 10 minute video. This video accurately displays how the events of that night went. When the girls leave, Jack doesn't even take the same path they did. Instead, he goes down the sidewalk towards his home, own home because he just got ditched. He just wanted them to get home safe and they had gotten a safe ride. So yes, it seemed like they were good from his point of view. And then there was another post by someone else about Jack Showalter. Check it out. Then this post was made. I'm going to share some information in hopes that false information stops getting spread. Jack did not flee to Africa. He has not left the country. He was cleared because he gave DNA and went in for an interview almost immediately. His alibi was not driving to the family cabin. Please stop spreading home addresses, occupations, posting reviews. I understand people are scared and that is valid. However, spreading false information is doing significant damage to this case and an innocent person's lives. It's taken the focus off of the monster who actually did this. Thank you. So the friend is saying Jack is innocent. The friend is saying Jack didn't flee to um, Africa. Jack provided DNA. Jack has nothing to do with it. Jack's family's getting harassed on their business pages, addresses being doxxed, etc., etc. Do you think Jack Showalter is involved with this case? His name has been circulating very strong in the last couple of days. I would say in the last 48 hours, that's where it's really hitting another level. You know, prior to 48 hours ago, you know, it was circulating all over, you know, Facebook groups and Twitter and whatnot. Some people making YouTube videos. But then Kaylee's father goes on TV and says he thinks the guy got cleared quickly. The guy that went to fled the country and didn't take a DNA. And then from that point on, Jack Showalter's. You know, everybody's posting everything about Jack Showalter. I get a lot of information from you people. Send me emails about Jack Showalter. Do you really think Jack Showalter is involved? Do you think that police should re-question him? Do you think he was cleared quickly? That's the question I have. What do you think? Subscribe to my channel, like, hit the notification button. But a friend spoke out. Allie. So she knows him. I don't know if she's just, you know, uh, some people close to a family member or somebody close to a perpetrator a lot of times are in denial, in denial that their family or loved ones or friends could do such a thing. So is that the case here? Is Jack innocent, in, you know, guilty? Is he an innocent victim? Uh, you know, what is, what's your thoughts about his name being circulated? What is your thoughts in general about Jack Showalter? Let's talk. Leave a comment. Subscribe to my channel. Like, hit the notification button. We will talk soon. Everybody be safe. God bless and justice for the victims as always.